and the show goes on. What are the other uh, points of interest that uh, I probably didn't explain enough in the last video is the this alignment. Let's get on past them. This alignment pin that's in this housing right here. This pin right here is what that's what we're discussing. Is this alignment pin? The crankshaft comes out of here, and the collar on the flywheel, and this right here would fit that collar, and then this co this collar would it would it would it would slide over that pin that is embedded in this housing here. It's cast iron, and that's a steel pin. It would be right there. The the normal the normal position of that pin is in a, a round circular hole that would have been perfectly round when it was new. And as you can see how much is worn. Okay, that would be right there. And and, and to then that's so that that can go in and out, a sliding it's it comes in and out like this uh, and this right here would remain stationary that's the reason for the pin okay and you can see it, I hope how much that that pin is worn that's where that governor weight may flung flung them weights out to that position and it rode in that position for so long a time that it wore that pin more than half in two. Okay, once your pin wires like that, then then it can't it, it can't do this right here with any degree of success. It can't slow down and it can't go fast or slow without overcoming that hump right there. It's hard to do, especially when this line here wired against that wires to the same thickness of that it's really hard to overcome at that point so it's even hard to get on and off in that position but you you will find that quite often now you can replace the pen and i'm going to do that the this is the one that I'm going to put on this this side piece here will actually be installed on that baling wire engine. And as you can see, that pin is broke even with the housing. To get that out, uh, it's uh, uh, just a mild steel. I'm going to say 10, 18, nothing more than that because they do bend and they do break. But they bend first. The to get that out, you can drill down in the center here and actually put a screw in there and pull it out. The easy way to do that, the easy way, and it's the way I'm going to do it here, and I probably won't do a video on it because it's. Uh, I can explain it to you, and you'll know what I'm talking about. It does not have to have a visual. And this this house this housing right here has actually been through the electrolysis tank. It was uh, cleaned of rust, and then it has had an metal prep solution put on the top of it, so it's rust free, protected. The um, and even after all of that, there is a glimmer of the green paint still on this part. That's a good thing. And I did take the, uh, I, I've, I'm painting the inside of this engine, not the outside. So I do have two coats of Rust-Oleum primer on the inside surfaces. No primer where the gasket goes. This is a really good example of a factory original piece. This is a 1927 year model. 1927 was the year model on this engine. And this is the quality of the casting that came from the factory. And as you can see, it has uh, holes in it, Your Honor. Uh, maybe it don't look like a sand hole. It actually looks like a bubble, an air bubble, in the cast iron when it was poured into the mold. It's uh, and when they machined it, they did not deem it unserviceable. 
and they're putting on to the engine and but anyway this one right here is the one's gonna go on the bathing water engine and 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 to, to make it easy to get that pin out what what i will do is uh just a little bit of math you know the part the stuff you missed the day you wasn't in school and what i'll do is i'll figure uh, uh on this side over here is where i do the calculations from this boat hole here up to the center of that hole I'll, I'll do the how many thousandths that is measurement and then from this hole to this hole a center line there and what I do is come over here on the back put a, put a center line here and then a measurement from this hole center line up to the center line of that pin on the other side and I will drill an eighth of an inch hole in the back of this housing here until it breaks through the cast iron part and then i will take a uh, a punch just want a drift punch and put in that hole and knock that pin right out and then uh, press the other pin in this one here is one that it already has the pin gone missing so that'd be quite easy to fix that one the ones these right here I, I, these are easy to pull out where they have not been broken off you can just pull them right out but but i do this this is quite common here's another one here is another one that has the the pin that's got the gap bore in it and both of these are bent meaning they leaning forward they're supposed to be straight and that tells me that tells us that at some point this right here become rusted or dry or whatever that this did not turn on the crankshaft itself it put a bind on this enough to where it bent that alignment pin and these engines do have a story to tell if you just kind of ferret it out like we're doing uh, this one right here it, it, it's been broken uh, <laughs> It's easy to break these, but the reason I, I laid it down here is you see this ring here where that hole is, and then it's a half half circle wall around there. Uh, here's one with the half circle wall around. It's uh, it's it's quite a common it's quite a common occurrence that those wire like that, and what happens is this pin in here gets bent so much that pin got bent to an angle where that it was rubbing on the back of this housing and at that point this engine never did govern after that because that pin was holding enough pressure on this till it never moved well you can see how long it ran to wire that groove in there so uh, this engine here was a running ungoverned uh, enough to wire that out you, you will find some of them to the really really extreme and it is important that they go uh one more try to get it in on this one right here the the two different ones and just go back and look at the other last video to see the difference in this housing and let's compare it to this one the um this one has this this is an older model it has this casting on the bottom that this one does not have this one don't have the alignment pin uh it would have used the uh it would have used this type collar that didn't have the pin uh and this right this is where that that spring and thumb nut adjustment would have been on this type this one didn't have it that was the difference in the two uh, they will you can use this on the late model or you can use this on the early model you can use this one without that mechanism uh, just uh, uh, just a little observations from here on the East Coast of Arkansas and shop dog Sam